After a month of just working with my dancers, I looked at them and I said, whoa, they look like a real company. And then I also said, wow, Cambodia's first gay dance company just formed in my living room. I am a Khmer classical dancer and choreographer. Khmer classical dance is an art form that's more than a thousand years old. The art form has animist, Hindu, Buddhist roots, and it's uh, all at once a form of entertainment, a form of worship, and also a form of educating the people. In 1970s, in Cambodia, the Khmer Rouge took over the country and they were a group of radical communists. They wanted to eliminate all forms of elite culture. Because of this, Khmer classical dancers were targeted. A third of the entire population died and in that number were 90% of Khmer dance artists. So it was a real tragic loss because Khmer classical dance is not passed on in a book. The act of reviving this art form, of preserving this art form, is really much so a protest against a legacy of violence. And, and it's really much so a gesture of resilience, of beauty, a resilience of the human spirit. I was born and raised in Long Beach, California, which is home to the largest Khmer diaspora outside of Southeast Asia. I realized that if I wanted to make the biggest impact on the art form, I had to do it from Cambodia. So in 2015, I started Bromsun Alkin Natyarasa, which is Cambodia's first gay dance company. We have two primary missions. One is to preserve the art form, but also creating new work that reflect our experiences as LGBTQ people in Cambodia. I felt like I really opened up a door for many young men who have always loved classical dance but never had access to proper training. These young men all of a sudden had someone that they can seek that knowledge from. My friends are often surprised when I say this, but in certain ways I feel that Cambodia is much more tolerant and open when it comes to LGBTQ issues than other places. There have been some people, maybe they don't like gay people or LGBTQ people, but when they see the rigor of the dancing, the rigor of the costumes, when they see the artistic quality, they realize that it's coming from a place of real love and real respect and real devotion. And they also see a sense of hope for the future. I hope that in the future, we take care of this art form as beautifully as we can, both traditionally, but then we also use this art form to just create things that would make our ancestors say, wow, I never would have imagined that. Mm -hmm.